one of the many uses for this L743 also once you get familiar with the two-point buck engine and the three-point buck engine is rail parallelism. If we're setting up a machine such as a gantry, you're going to have two separate rails. These rails need to be set up. They need to be leveled and in the same plane so they're parallel to each other in the vertical direction. But we also need them to be parallel in the horizontal direction. So that's what I'm going to demonstrate. How do we check these? Sometimes these are close together, two or three, four feet. We can set the laser right in the middle and just do it with one shot. But when they're spread apart, so we, we, don't, we need long rods, then we have to transfer the laser. So I'm going to demonstrate that. First, we'll set the laser on the, on the floor stand. And I want to make sure I'm going to have enough distance between the rail and this laser beam to uh, pick up the target. So I'll set a target on the... We'll set up a target in the beam. Notice I have the target coming out the side of the, and I'm going to adjust the height of the target so the beam's in the center. Now I need to go through a course alignment when I'm doing this, visual. So I set it up. I'm going to move the target to the far end of the, of the rail. And then I'm manually going to turn this turret to see where the beam's hitting on the target. And I can, I'm not even hitting the target, I'm so far off. I can see it on the back wall. So I'm going to turn this, loosen the magnet, and I'm going to adjust this until I'm on the face of the target. This is a coarse visual alignment, so we're not even turning on, on the turret yet. We're just... Bring this back up here. And I'm going to adjust the height of the target again. All I want to do is be able to hit the target in the window on both ends of this. And then I can work a formula. And I can buck this in. Okay. Pretty close. I'm going to... Now I know I'm going to hit the target in both positions. So I'm going to bring this here close, and I'm going to level this laser. I'm going to level this because we're going to want to level these rails as well as make them parallel to each other. So I'll set another target on here now that I have the laser level. And I'm going to turn these two turrets on. Now I'll get numbers on the readout. For This is target number one, this is target number four. I'm going to make these read zero. Okay, now, because I'm going to, be, I'm going to buck this side plane in, I'm going to, what we call the buck in, like what you've seen in the two-point buck in, I'm going to buck this plane into this rail this way, and I'm going to keep the laser level. I'm not going to buck it in this way because I want to adjust these rails to be level. I don't want to buck only in this direction. So it becomes a remote situation. So we're going to do our measurements here. And L1 divided by L2 times the far reading. L1 is... nine inches. So we got nine inches and my travel is 54 inches. So nine divided by 54 we get 
six, seven. Okay, so I'm at zero here. I'm gonna take this to the far end and get my far reading. My far reading is plus 10 thousandths. So I'm gonna multiply 0.1667 times plus 10 thousandths. So I'm gonna get a plus 2 thousandths times a negative one minus 2 thousandths is my set point. So, I'm going to use the yaw adjust, and I'm going to adjust my target number one to minus two thousandths. Now looking at target number four, I can see that this is way out of level. So on an actual machine, we would actually level this roll as well. So now this beam is parallel to that. I'm going to recheck my levels. And I want to double check my numbers, make sure I'm still I'm zero. and I'm zero. And now, because I know this is parallel to this rail, we can actually move this over the top of each leveler or each adjustment, and we could physically make adjustments to bring this to zero all the way down so we're actually leveling the rail and we're actually straightening the rail uh, at the same time. Once that's done, this, this beam will still be parallel to this rail and this rail will be level. Then I can transfer this laser over here to the next spot. Because this beam is perpendicular to this beam, I can put monuments on the floor, what we call floor monuments, or somehow position these targets maybe on the end of the machine or whatever. I like to put them on the monument, set them on the floor, and I can make those, these targets read zero, the ones on the floor, which we're going to do. But the, the concept is, then I can pick this up. These become my reference targets. I can move over here and level the laser, use these as reference targets, and then I can check this rail to be level and parallel to that rail. So I'm going to take target number three, and using this beam, I'm going to place this target down here on the floor. And I'm going to level this. Then I'm going to take target number two, and I'm going to place that one. I want these targets facing the same direction. This target here, the top of the target is facing this, this way toward the laser. I want this one facing in the same direction. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to set this into that beam. And I'm going to level this one. I'll turn on this beam. So now I have targets two and three on the floor and I'll make both of those zero.
So two and three are now my reference targets. Those targets are perpendicular to this rail. So when I move this over, I use these as a reference and I can check this to be parallel. So originally I'm gonna leave this truck on here. I call this a truck because I want my, I wanna make this target zero when I come over here to this rail. So I have this set at the same height as this rail. They'll now know I'm gonna be parallel in this direction. And I want to get this hitting in the center of each of these targets or somewhere close. Now, this has a cross slide on it. The floor stand has a cross slide, so I can make straight moves so I can get close to the center of that. But these targets are somewhat about the same distance apart from the laser. So basically I have to re remember what I'm doing on this side, I'm undoing on this side. So instead of taking these exact, I'm gonna take about half the direction. In other words, I'm way high on this target. So instead of taking that to the center of the target, I'm gonna use a yaw adjust, and I'm gonna bring it about halfway back. Now down here, I'm way low on that target. So I'm gonna actually bring this back here. Now they're both low, so I can move this straight out using the cross light on the base. Now I'm somewhere as close to the center on both of those targets. I want to level this laser. Level it. And I'm gonna turn on this beam. Now when I start adjusting the yaw on this, I don't care if the numbers are zero, I just want both numbers to be the, the same number, same sign. That just, then I know I'm, I'm parallel to those, which will make this perpendicular to what it was over there. So I'm gonna use the yaw adjust, and I'm gonna make two and three breathe the same number, same sign. Now these numbers are kind of high. I'm way up at 400,000, so I'm actually gonna shift this to get a little closer to zero. The range on our target is a half an inch, so we're, we're pushing the limits here. So I'm gonna bring this in, so I'm one or 200,000, so I don't care, but 400 is a little much. And now they're both reading 99 or 100. I'm gonna recheck my levels. Because I've made a, a slight move with the base, I'm gonna reset the levels. Now they both read plus 99. Plus 99, so I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna turn target number four so I'm into this beam. and I'm gonna make that target read zero because I'm gonna move this from here to over here and I want the same height here as I have here. The laser's level. So take the target, that's zero. So I'm gonna move that, what I call a truck. from this rail. To this rail. When I bring this over here. I can see this, this is lower than that rail. 
So I would actually raise that up using the adjusters, moving this from position to position. But now I'm gonna turn this target in this direction. I need to get a little more rod on this one. Adjust the height. And now because this is set up to these, the laser's level, this beam is now parallel to what it was over there. So I can turn on this beam and I can make target number one zero. And I know we're, and move this to different positions. And adjust the, the straightness and the parallelism and the levelness of this rail to that rail. And I can see, oh, if I come down to this end, I can see right off the top from end to end, this rail's within seven thousandths of that rail. If I come to different positions, again, we can check the straightness and the levelness, all with the laser setting here, and then we'll be finished setting this machine up. We're ready to put the bridge on. So that completes the, the rail alignment of a gantry mill.